Hey everyone, it's me, Eric Kimball, back here with another video. I am in the house addition project that I started years ago. It's the like the never-ending project because I'm doing it myself as I can afford it. And uh, yeah, that's you know the story if you've watched my videos. And I'm at a point here where I'm I'm into the stuff I really like to do, which is get the drywall done do the, the trim work on the doors and the windows. I am basically uh, a trim carpenter. That's my specialty. Um, at, or it used to be when I was in the trades. So I had my electrical inspection, just to give those of you who have watched something of an update, and the, it, everything was good. The, the inspector said, it looks great. And in fact, he said it twice, it looks great. So that made me feel good. It was kind of a relief. And then the next day, the code enforcement officer came and checked it out and said, yeah, go for it. Get the drywall on, it looks good. So music to my ears. Now we're gonna make some progress. And I'm in the process of drywalling and I have put up a uh, cove molding around the ceiling. I'll have more to say about cove molding uh, in maybe the next video. But today, right here now, I wanna talk to you about a, a portable storage idea for uh, pneumatic uh, nailers, air guns. I made a video not too long ago about portable whole saw storage, an idea I came up with in 1989 to store my whole saws and tote them from job to job. Not a shop storage idea, but a portable idea. And that's the same with the, the nail guns I'm gonna show you. That video uh, for the whole saw storage um, idea it has more views than usual. It's not, it didn't go viral. I mean, it wouldn't go viral with that kind of topic, but it's had more views than usual for my average video. So maybe this video will be of equal interest uh, to those of you out there who go from job to job and want a portable uh, storage idea for your nail guns. This is 30, years, 30 plus years old, 1989, I came up with this idea. I'm a carpenter, so it's just logical for me to make a wooden box for tools, tool storage. And I'm telling you, the idea has worked. It is an idea that has stood the test of time. So let me show you what I've got here. Just as with the hole saw box where I had a long handle and the box was down low, I have the same thing with these uh, air gun storage boxes. The, the weight is down low, the center of gravity is low, so it's easy to tote. It's easy to pick up, you just, I'm just, you know, I'm not going all the way down to the ground, I'm just reaching here, grabbing the handle and putting it uh, up here for you to see. Now I've got two of these because I have a, uh, a trim gun right here and I also have a narrow crown stapler, all right? Uh, basically the same boxes, and I'm going to get closer here and show you the specifics of these. Now I should say that these boxes are exactly the way that I just pulled them out of my shop. I mean, in other words, I didn't clean them, they got dust on them. Th these are, these, this is the real deal, 30 plus years, all right? Let's get in close and look at this. Dust her off a little there. Uh, I've got latches down here. Those were a good idea. You know, I'm 30 years later, I'm gonna tell you what was a good idea and what wasn't. And here we open it up. And uh, I've got a pass load gun here that is the same age as the box. This has been a great trim gun. Excellent trim gun. I love this trim gun. It's a model MU-212F. I did have to do a rebuild on this a few years ago, and it was simple. I bought a rebuild kit for 20 bucks, and it's like new, works like new. I'm missing the air deflector up here. I don't know what happened to that, but if you're at a sale somewhere, a garage sale, a state sale, you see one of these, uh, buy it, because even if it doesn't work, you can get a rebuild kit, and this is a classic good nailer. Now, I've got a couple of, uh, bolts that, that I set the nailer on, okay, just like that. And the bolts come through the back, they're carriage bolts right there. 
And then I've got some padding material. I don't know where that came from, but it works. It holds the gun when it's closed, it holds it from jiggling around. Now I have in the bottom of this, I have room for my nails. And uh, so I've got boxes of nails. I have my oil. I, I need to get a little bit more, but this oiler fits in there and that you keep it oiled, keep it oiled and it'll last. You know, you're not gonna blow out your seals. Put these back in here. So I'm not looking for nails. They're not away from the gun. They're right there. These hinges right here, just basic butt hinges screwed into the top. Okay. Now this handle flips up, flips down. It's just uh, more another carriage screw here and here. A dowel looks like three quarter inch. It's ideal. Give you a side view right there. Now this is, let's see, a box that measures Someone's gonna to wanna to know, 18 inches high, about five inches wide, and uh, 17 inches that way. All right, so what I did was I made the box. Let's see, is this three quarter inch plywood? Yeah, yeah, it's all three quarter inch plywood. Okay, so I made the box, and uh, I'm not sure how I put it together. I may have used uh, screws and uh, puttied over them, you know, use some Bondo. But in any event, make a box, and then you set your table saw up, and you would set the height of your table saw blade right here, which, well, for our purposes here, it's two and an eighth inches. Two and an eighth inches high, you'd run this through your saw that way, and then the, you would take the box, and you'd run it through the other ways, you know, the other ways. And you, of course, you're not gonna get it all the way here. So you just come as close as you can and finish off with a jigsaw. And uh, yeah, that's how that's made. <laughs> this box is not made to be tipped upside down. Uh, let's see what we got. Yeah, I made a mess of my nails. All right, well, I'll make that better later. But the one other thing I wanted to show you was right down here right here. I've got a trim washer right there. So what that does is it just spaces out the, uh, it's as thick as the kerf, the saw kerf. So it kind of holds out the, uh, holds that out so I'm flush here or close to flush. All right. Yeah. So that's that. That's, it's, it's that simple. And let me just show you the other one real quick right here. Same, exact same thing, made at the same time, 1989. This one doesn't have as much wear because I don't use it as much. And this is a pass load also. It's a narrow crown stapler. It's in better shape because, like I said, I don't use it as much. And uh, yeah, it shoots these narrow crown staplers. We use this uh, a lot for flooring underlayment, like bathrooms, before you put vinyl down. It, uh, it had its place. I, and I just, it's not one that I use, but the trim gun, that Pasolo trim gun right here is just a beautiful tool. I usually uh, put the two inch, the two inch uh, nails in it. And let's see right here. You know what a nail gun does and how it works. See that? Beautiful. Love this tool. So there you go. 30 years later, these old boxes have done the job. If you're looking for a way to properly store and uh, transport your air guns, maybe this inspired you, I hope so. And uh, yeah, you buy good tools, you take care of them, give them a box, and they, they should last you a good long time. Uh, this thing right here, this old pass -a load uh, did I mention that how much I love this tool? Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next one.